Hello, this is Andrew Cook, Superintendent of the Hartford Central School District, with an update on the district's continued operation during the COVID pandemic. First, I'd like to thank everyone for their continued patience and support. The district's ability to remain open for in-person education is a direct result of everyone's cooperation and respect for the Department of Health and established CDC protocols. For our district to remain open through this point in the year is a great testament to the community of Hartford and the value in which we place on education. Thank you for all of your continued support. As has been the case throughout the period of pandemic, the guidance and regulations regarding the daily operations of schools continue to change, and I wanted to provide the community with a brief update. Specifically, I would like to address Governor Cuomo's Cluster Action Initiative. This initiative classifies regions based on the infection rates and designates zones as yellow, orange, or red. If designated, each color has different operational standards in regards to testing for schools. Last week, I mailed home a letter that outlined the requirements for districts to remain open for in-person instruction if they were in a yellow zone. Although only a week old, the information in that letter is now outdated. The guidance now reads that if a district is in a designated yellow zone, that district can remain open for in-person instruction by testing 20% of their population over a two-week period. If the positivity rate among those tested is below the zone's current seven-day positivity rate, the testing requirement would temporarily end. If the results of the testing over the first two weeks reveal that the positivity rate is higher than the zone's seven-day rate, the school will be required to continue to test 20% of the in-person population on a bi-weekly basis. This new guidance does provide greater flexibility for school districts. However, I do want to caution you that the actual process for testing is quite complicated. There are some very extensive and legal requirements that we must adhere to, and we are diligently working with the Washington County Department of Health, our school attorney, BOCES, and a number of third-party vendors in the hopes of developing an improved plan in case our district reaches the yellow zone designation. Currently, Washington County's seven-day positivity rate is 1.1%, which is one of the lowest in the state. Based on the New York State Microcluster Strategy document, since we are in a Tier 3 geographic zone, Washington County must have an average positivity rate of 3.5% for over a 10 day period in order to reach the yellow zone designation. So overall, our county is doing a very good job. As a district, we understand how important it is for our students to be in school, and we are exploring all possible options to be able to continue offering in-person instruction regardless of the color designation. I want to thank everyone for all of your support and patience thus far, and encouraging you to continue to be a supportive partner of the district as we work through this challenging time together. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the district at 518-632-5222. Thank you for your time today. I hope that everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. Thank you.